Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first game of this season of the Farmers League. So, uh, we have on the left in the yellow Peter Host, and on the right side we do have Herr Acker. Now it's a new format, um, it's a new tournament. Maybe you've seen the invasion video. Um, we are nine players, and that means we do have an AI to fulfill the 10th place because Tyrant Q was not able to perform in this tournament. Tyrant Q is basically crying. Ah, I cannot play. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's just an AI. But uh, here we have two real players, I believe. And uh, they are playing the first game ever in this beautiful tournament. Um, it's on Arena. And I think this is rigged because Arena is the map picked by Peter Host. But according to the rule set, this map was randomly picked by the map generator. Yeah, that means basically Peter has one home map more. And I also think it's the most closed series uh, of the first round. Yes, um, very close series. I think Aka should be favored here, just because he's been practicing more in recent years. But Peter Host has the experience, and on Arena, Peter Host is very dangerous. Yeah, I think on Arena, experience is more important than the practice. Yes, except you still need a clean build order. But if you can do that, then yeah, it's all about experience. Yeah. And... Yeah, it's surprising because Herr Acker scripted the map tool, so I would have expected him to <laughs> to rig it in his favor. <laughs> yeah, so Herr Acker made the the, the map choosing uh, program, and that means uh, in this Farmers League, let's, let's think about that. I think uh, the first map in the best of three is always random, so that's why P uh, we got uh, Arena. And then the two players do have uh, two bands each. Uh, in the map pool are 12 maps. And on the leftover maps, the players can choose their home maps after that. And we do have, I, I think, uh, Herr Ocker has, cho has chosen Land Nomad for his home map. And what, what does Peter have? Peter Host has... Um, I'm not sure about that. I don't know what he chose. <laughs> maybe we should we should I also don't know I'm not sure about the sieves yeah um, I think we have to look it up so <laughs> but let's oh. focus on this game here we we look it up and, and tell you later so we do have both players with a little bit of idle towns at the time and a lot of villages there on hunt on the bar underneath the town center. And her Akka is a few seconds in the lead with the villager, nicely pushing in the deer, bringing in the bar at the same time. Maybe multitasking is lacking a little bit, um, not resetting the gathering point. Now he's checking on that. Also, Peter Host is bringing in the bar, shooting it down with eight villagers. Nicely done here. Um, let's look. Oh, he's blocking the bar and it's, yeah, it's quite okay. It's not directly underneath the town center, but it's still fine. And in the same time, Foodpleece has looked up the map and sift picks of the players for this series. So, as we mentioned, it's a best of three. Yes, so in fact, Peter Host's home map is Nomad. Mm -hmm. The Akar's home map, is, home map is Land Nomad. That's quite surprising that Peter is going for Nomad. Well, Peter has a lot of experience on Nomad, but so has Akar. And neither player has any experience on Land Nomad, I think. Probably Peter Host has more experience because Land Nomad is a very old school map that has been around forever. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, but back in the days, that was played differently. So let's see. but. Um, yeah, yeah whereas Nomad, I think it's... Uh, Herr Ake is going for Loom here, so I think it's maybe not necessary on Arena, except you're going forward. Maybe he's housed? No. No, he's not. Uh, uh, so maybe he's going for Tower Rush. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't get the Loom click here, but let's let's see at the strategy of the players. So the Sith pick, so Herr Acker picked Sicilians, Burgundians, Armenians and Franks, a lot of new civilizations. Uh, obviously, here he already picked the Burgundians, which are a very strong 
Arena Sif. Uh, I think very much favored by the pros. Whereas Peter Hose picked the Bohemians, which is also a strong Arena Sif. And he has the Malians, the Koreans, and the Huns left. What mm -hmm. do you think about the Sif picks? Yeah, I think Peter has quite nice Sif picks. Bohemians, of course, uh, super strong on, on Arena. And I think Malians is his pick for for Nomad. Or Koreans. Or Koreans. So he does have two strong Nomad Sifs. Um, but let's talk quickly about the build orders here. So Peter had settled down two farms very early. And Haraka is now running out of food. He has now a lot of villages and berries, uh, but hasn't gathered a lot of them. And I don't think Haraka will make it into Castle Age with two villages space between the uptime to Fuel Age. Ooh. Peter's build order, I think, is pretty clean. So he has the resources, but Haraka is far away. That is an ugly build from Haraka. Not sure what he was doing there. Uh, maybe he has never played Arena, but no, he must have, because I, I saw one of his videos where he played as the Turks. Ah, yeah, he's, he has a famous strategy, therefore, of the of Turks fast imp. And look at that, he's, what is it, eight villagers on the berries? That's, uh, Freddy's always laughing when I have so many villagers on the berries, <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, but the, the meta quite changed, so I think six to seven villages now with the quick uptimes is quite quite okay. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible. So that favors you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now Hacker has to use the market to buy some food. Oh. But he still has eight seconds idle times at the time, but he's not up to castle age, and Peter is, yeah, the halfway up, so he's only one and a half minutes. So maybe it was too ambitious to get double bit X and horse collar here for Herr Acker. Yeah. Uh, maybe he should have just gotten that as he clicks up to the castle age. Uh, unless he wants to go for a very strong boom now, but he only has six villagers on wood, and I think that's not enough if he wants to drop TCs. Yeah, but um, you have five villagers there on gold, so what, what do you do with the gold? Use it for the market, but that's not as efficient. Yes, so yeah, not, not liking the <coughs> Haka's strategy there. Um, let's quickly look at the band maps. Actually, Peter Host banned Arabia and Haka banned Team Islands. So, clearly, these are the maps they don't want to play, and it's maybe good to remember for future games where you have to face them. Yeah. So, Haka is now shifting the villagers onto the stone, and Peter Reach Castle is now going for Loom. So uh, I like that, uh, only going Castle Age for Loom, to not forget it. And let's have a quick look at the band maps by the Akka's program. So in yeah, Akka's program is pretty sick, so we have this PDF file now that we was automatically generated by Akka's program, by the SIF drafter and SIF picker. And then it auto banned four maps yep. and players banned. So actually... Peter Host banned the Turks and the Portuguese. Ah, okay, he banned two pr pretty strong Nomad Sifs. Arena Sifs. Ah, Arena Sifs, sorry. Uh, so, whereas uh, Haka banned the Persians and the Cumans, so yeah. they but, more Nomad but, Sifs. But I think Burgundians are pretty sick. I think Burgundians is, are even better than Portuguese. Uh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah I, I do think so. Portuguese or Turks. So, Burgundians are pretty powerful with, with the Death Ball of Cavalier and Castle Age, for example. Ah, uh, I don't agree. I think Cavalier on Arena is not great. I think it's much better to have Janissaries or Organ Guns. Yeah, but you do have the best economy in the game. So, with the pretty early economy upgrades, you're far ahead. Or you should be far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> economy doesn't win game. Military does. Yeah, maybe at lower levels oh, as we are. Oh, I think we missed a conversion here. What no. happened? No, I think we don't. Yes, because the Acker has lost his scout. Ah, he has lost his scout. A conversion from Peter Host, and that is sloppy. That yes. should not never happen. Uh, losing a scout against a single unupgraded monk. So mm. clearly, Acker did not micro. And, uh, we, and we do have four relics on the right side. Wherever only one is on the left side. Yeah, Peter already bringing in the first relic. Yeah, and uh, I think Herr Akka has a stable now. He's going for some light calves and contesting the relics. But to contest the relics, you need to have a monastery by yourself. 
Indeed. So, and uh, Hakar has the gold to create monks, but he's just lacking in that monastery. Yeah. And he's going for a second TC now and creating the light cavalry upgrade now. Whereas Peter Ho's dropping a castle in a defensive position. How do you like that? I think it's quite okay. Okay, Peter knows he will get four to five relics. Um, he's ahead in. But how, how can he get four to five relics if his opponent is going for light cap? Yeah, I think. Oh, look, this, this one will be sniped for sure. Yeah. But. Oh, he's moonwalking. <laughs> <laughs> but he hasn't seen any monk until now um, from Haraka. So maybe he's going for the Hussite wagons. Because I think monks do need redemption for them. Oh, that's possible, yes. So, yeah. so Haraka needs to quickly collect the relics now. He needs the monks now, otherwise it will yeah. be too late. Yeah. And there's a... No, don't attack the scout. What is he doing? What is he doing? It's, it's still charged. You, so it went out of range. No? Yeah, yeah, now it's out of range, but the like if now is coming back and what? it was still it was still in charge. That's and that's so the reason why it, it gets converted. Yeah, now you should lose that monk. But okay, so it doesn't stop charging even if you leave. Yeah, yeah you have to, to leave uh, I think to you have to get more distance between you and the monk. Oh, no. And now Peter has more light calf. I think Okay, now Peter will get all the relics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's even ahead in villagers by six now. Um, he has more resources collected. Has Haraka uh, scouted the castle? Oh, I have no idea how to look it up. Uh, if you mm, shift think. and right click on the uh, on the Haraka's building. Yeah. And now? No. Uh, okay, if you right click on Haraka's TC, maybe. <laughs> or control on Haraka's TC. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, no. What no, it's not. Hell? It's not working. It's just showing. Uh, I think uh, I'm okay now. Some spearmen are coming, but spearmen are got to convert for the opponent. Okay, but now he sees the wagon, so now yeah. he should cancel the knight because he sees the monk. Yeah, stop. Nice. I think he yeah, needs to stop with this military because. Yeah, and the he, the monk had a long conversion oh, time. And, wow. Yeah, of course he gets monk. But now, yeah, we should the light cap. Well done. Now Peter is going for the third town center. And now Haka is going for monks, but now it's too late. Yeah. Because now the wagons are out. And he has invested a lot into this relics, and I think maybe if he's lucky, he gets one. I don't think. Well, if he gets the castle up, he could get both, but he needs to rush it up with a lot of villagers. Yeah, and yeah but the, the military of Peter is coming. Yeah, he needs to send at least 12 villagers. Yeah. yeah. Siege workshop now, but maybe some mangonels against the. the no, he cancels the castle. He cancels the castle and building it defensively. <sighs> but it's it's not protecting a lot here. Only the gold, but the gold is in your in your base anyways. Maybe it's okay. Uh, but what can Aka do now? Because he's eleven villages behind. He has yeah, no at, map control. And look at the farming setup. So Peter has 21 farms. That's enough to run three town centers. And Heraka is now going for a very weird town center. So just delete this walls and put it on the woodland. Do you think booming is the correct answer here? I think it's too late. You have you have invested so many resources uh, in military to yeah. get the relics. And maybe you should go now for a fast imp and, and pressure Peter's base. Exactly, because do you want to play against the uh, Imperial Age Bohemians with no. their crazy gunpowder units? Yeah, yeah I think it's their death ball is, is maybe something like Harbardier and, and Elite Skirms mixed with the Hufnice. Hufnice. Or they are called actually. Yes, the, the, this Elite Bombard Cannons, essentially. Yeah. Um, now Monk is out. And uh, the Halberdiers <laughs> shred the Burgundian cavalry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Burgundians have very strong bomber cans as well, so that's maybe their chance. So let's have a quick look if you... Oh, uh, Herr Ake has redemption, so I saw that before. Oh, he has redemption? Yeah. Wow, that's a big investment. For what? For a single monk? For nothing. I think it's 475 gold. And now further, and he has zero monks? This is... Terrible. I don't know what Haka is doing here. Yeah. I'm really shocked to see him going well, just going down like that. I mean, this the game is basically over already, and there was just no plan, no strategy at all from, from Haka. And Peter Host 
uh, he was playing rather defensively, um, just for some monks some, and then some wagons for the map control, but it was enough because there was nothing from Helka. Yeah, and look at the wood piece floating. So, um, Helka seems very rusty in this first game. Maybe it will get better in the second or the third one. But uh, Peter is so much ahead, so he's up to Imperial, he's going for chemistry. So he's really abusing his uh, strength of the Siths. He's going for chemistry in Castle Age, it's the oh, only nice. civilization uh, you can do that. So with Turks you do have Bomber Canyons immediately when you reach up Imperial. And Heraka is far away from Imperial, Imperial Age and I think nothing, uh, Heraka could do nothing against Maybe he's going for hand cannoneers, bomber cannons. Uh, looks like hand cannons here, yes. Uh, going for the defense upgrades. And chemistry. Yeah, yeah. That, that should be impossible to stop. And now Herka is going for chain barding armor, but um, why, why? Why does he want to build cavalry now? He's going for light caves, more light caves. So. Yes. yes, Peter has two monks left, but I think Lycaps are way too weak against against the uh, wagons and the hand, can hand cannons. Yes, I think the only chance of Arka would be to match Peter Host with his Imperial Age timing and then go for mass bombard cannons to snipe everything. Yeah, or, or mass knights, mass cavalier would be good because Peter has now only two monks left. And of course he could go for mm -hmm. Harbadir. At this point he has to switch, but maybe he could stop the push of Peter for maybe a few minutes. Maybe he could overwhelm him, indeed. Yeah, yes, if he would go all in, maybe now on Knight's production or Costelier production, maybe yeah. there's a chance. But he needs to act quick because <laughs> Peter Host also has the stronger economy, so he can create always more and more military. And now if Heraka wouldn't have created all that units, he maybe would be up to Imperial. Probably, yes. But uh, I think it's way too late. He has still 10 villages less than uh, Peter Host. Now the hand, cannon, hand cannons are out, the bomber cannon is out. Uh, there's no chance for Heraka to stop this army at the moment. And I think if he loses the castle, uh, there's nothing there for protection anymore. Yeah, now he's saving up resources <laughs> for Imperial Age, but now he would need to invest them all into military if he wants to have it one last chance at pushing this back. Yeah. Because now it's too late to go in, because he's already being trapped down or shot down with the cannons and now he's moving in, but I think it's not enough. Yeah, but why send the Kusir forward Ooh. when you do have a lot of light caps? Oh, so first one converted. The now light caps finally move in. Yeah, ah, but what is this micro? They are not even, uh, they are not even sniping the monks and uh, that's disaster. That was... Uh, poor engagement, and that's the game. Okay, nice shot there by the Mangano. Yes. But yeah, it's it's game for Peter House, so the cost is almost down. Ah, oh, oh. ground attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's way too less units for stopping three bomber cannons. Now Monk is coming out. He does have redemption, so he could go for the bomber cannons. Oh. oh, the snipe. Oh, yeah, but now it's yeah. too many. But now there are too many units. All of the production buildings of her Akka are forward. Akka. So. He could call it now, it's um, very much over. Yes. Indeed. But of course, it's a very important game because the winner of this best of three advances to the winner's round, and the loser will go to the Pleb League. Yeah, we haven't talked about that yet. Now there's a get out, a get out of my game castle. Yes, I would even like to see it inside the base of Erker. <laughs> <laughs> there, there would be a chance that this Mengenel denies the castle. <laughs> <laughs> so. Like all the dark castles we are used to yes. at, at this level. <laughs> Erker almost built one. So the first round is just a round to see who's uh, advanc advancing in which group. Nice attack rounds there. And yeah, I think for the next game, Peter is, uh, is my favorite because he's he has played pretty pretty well here. He looks sharp and wants to advance to the winner's round. 
or to the winner's group. Yes, yeah, so Hayaka needs to come into the next game with a game plan. Um, just sitting around and waiting for Peter Host to uh, do as he pleases is not good enough. Yes. You need, mm -hmm. to be, you need to be proactive in this game if you want to have a chance against such a, an experienced player as Peter Host. Yeah. And so the format means that every month there will be one round except of the group stage so it's a little bit different because we have five players each group that means we do have uh, four rounds for the players in four map in, in four months and uh, every player has one round um, time to rest bec bec <laughs> because it's it's uh, zero says hacker <laughs> <laughs> because the chichi and after the group stage, we do have three rounds in Swiss format. And then we do have always the first versus the second and the third versus the fourth and so on um, to to win the league. And at the end, we do have a final. And this final will took place uh, some we are shortly before Christmas this year. So it's a tournament all over this year. Um, but I think there will be more infos in the next videos. So let's have a quick look at the, at the statistics. Yeah, so uh, nice first game here. Very strong performance by Peter Host. Uh, starting out strong into this tournament. Hacker not as strong as we thought he would be. But uh, maybe it's, he's just rusty. And if he wins the next two games, he can still advance to the winner's round. Yeah, of course, but it won't be easy against this Peter host. Indeed. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Yep. Yeah. See you in the next game.